We've known for decades that the brain undergoes major changes at a global scale during sleep, but we don't really have a great sense of what these changes mean at the level of circuits of individual brain cells and how they impact how the brain works. Thanks to our incredible BrainGate participant, however, we now have the ability to start exploring this unknown space. So for this study, we asked our participant to play a simple video game using the BrainGate system. In this game, which we modeled loosely after the handheld game Simon, our participant had to think about moving to each of the shapes on the screen in the same order as they were presented. Because the brain gate sensor is located on his motor cortex, we can read out or decode his intended movements in real time, and the cursor goes where he wants it to go on the screen. We had him play this game for a couple of hours in the afternoon, making sure he got a lot of practice with one sequence in particular. Then, overnight, we kept on recording the activity in his motor cortex as he slept. Now, because we had previously tuned our decoder to his intended movements while he played that video game, we knew the parameters for the equations that linked his brain's activity to his intended movements. And when we took his brain activity while asleep and plugged it into these equations, we found that his motor cortex kept replaying that video game, especially that one highlighted sequence throughout the night while he slept, as if he was practicing or rehearsing it. It was actually a pretty typical night for me. I made the same normal preparations and went to bed and fell asleep and didn't feel any different, didn't know anything else was going on uh, for the rest of the night. It was absolutely astonishing to see that our brain actually replays the events of the day or what we've been doing directly before sleep over and over again while we don't even know it's happening. I think it confirms long-held beliefs that that process actually happens when we sleep. And I'm very glad to have been a part of further confirmation of that hypothesis. <laughs>